Hi kids, Nana here and Papa. Hi everyone. We're here to give you, to read to you another story called Molly Mouse Goes Shopping. It's kind of fun because there's a little mouse that really goes shopping through the pages. Wanna see? Come. There she is. That's her house be behind the bright blue door at the back of the store. Let's read. Molly Mouse has a house with a bright double door in a wall at the back of a big city store. When people are shopping, she stays out of sight, but she has the whole place to herself through the night. It's late now, so you can help Molly start out as long as the cat isn't sneaking about. If Molly is hungry, she finds something nice, like crackers and cheese seasoned with spice. There's a cup on the counter. Molly hops in to see if someone has left her a drop of cold tea. Molly Mouse loves dessert, so she peeks in this jar and reaches way down where the cookie crumbs are. <laughs> you can see her toes sticking out. Now Molly is full, so it's time to get hopping off counters, past boxes, up steps to go shopping. Look in this box and help Molly find jewels and beads of the prettiest kind. Here's a basket of yard. Molly needs just a little. The color she wants is deep down in the middle. Do you think she found it? I think so too. Molly hops on a record player, turns off the sound, and has lots of fun as she spins round and round. Whenever she can, she stops by to knock on the door of the cuckoo who lives in a clock. Knock, knock, knock. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Cuckoo. They're friends. In the big toy department, Molly's a star, riding in style in an open sports car. She talks to the dolls, hello, hi, and she swings on the swings. And now, with your help, she can do all these things. Uh-oh, look who's here. Crank the cat on patrol. Help Molly to hide in this nice furry stool. For when cats prowl around, that's the end of the fun. And time for a mouse to get ready to run. All you can see are her ears. I don't think the cat saw her. I think she's safe. Quick, open the purse and put Molly inside till she thinks of another good place to hide. Just your ears are showing. He didn't see her. Good, Molly. Go find another place to hide. The hat shop, how lucky to run across that. Now Molly can hide inside this top hat. Just in time, the cat's going by. Molly sees a big book. She can stay there for ages. Old Crank's not the type to jump up and turn pages. Imagine hiding in a book. You can see her ears, but the cat didn't see her. She's so quiet. The garden department. Oh, Molly took a wrong turn. Where can she hide? Behind the big fern. Is Crank still around? Molly can't tell for certain. Slowly she peeks from behind the curtain. 
She sees the cat, but the cat doesn't see her. Shh. There's a lampshade. Quick, Molly, climb in it. Crank hasn't seen you. Ah, <sighs> so rest for a minute. Look, there's a frame. Now you can hide there. Try to look like a picture. <gasps> Don't wiggle a hair. She looks like a picture on the wall. The cat will never notice. At last, Molly's home in her own little house. What a great big adventure for such a small mouse. Tuck her in bed, safe behind the bright door, in the wall at the back of the big city store. Now night, Molly. See you next time.